Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, unboxing some of the uh, Nova Chuck parts for a lathe. I have a Powermatic 3520, it's an old one, bought it used from 1994, so it's got some use on it, but it works great. So what we have here is we have the G3 Chuck. Um, from what I've researched, it's a it's a pretty decent chuck. Um, has a good warranty on it, six years. And I bought it at a Rockler Woodworking. I also purchased the Nova Coal Jaw. Um, so this holds bowls up to 10 inches or 250 millimeters in diameter. So it was on sale. Uh, was not $98.99. And then a lot of the lathes require a chuck insert. So what the chuck insert does is it takes the threads on your lathe and it changes it to fit the chuck. So for instance, my lathe has an inch and a quarter by 8 TPI which is the thread type. I'm not sure what the TPI stands for, but you can probably figure it out. Anyways, you thread this onto this part, and then it has a set screw. So you just use your, your Allen key, tighten that down. <clears throat> So, and then you can put on the chuck. So, I've never used one of these before. It's the first time for me, so if you're watching and you're like, what the hell is this guy doing? I don't know. <laughs> but, I know it connects to it. So it comes with a bunch of different parts. These it came. This came with, uh, I believe, it's a 50 millimeter jaws. I'll have to look it up. And yeah, 50 millimeter. Okay, so the part that screws onto those threads looks like this. So this here screws onto here, like that, and then it comes with a wrench here, and then the wrench, I'll show you, slides into here like that and there's a gear on there that it turns and then that adjusts from what I think the jaws or maybe it tightens on Let's see what it does so it definitely turns the jaws so these are the jaws here and they bolt on to there and then these are what you you open and close around what you carve out on your on the wood bowl. So let's see here. Looks like each quarter of the wing, I guess you'd call it, has two screws. <clears throat> Not sure what this set screws for, but we'll keep that up there. 
should probably start by reading the instructions. Okay, so each one of these jaws here are numbered. There's a little tiny number there. So this is number one. And these are, are numbered on the ends. So you can take the screws. Put them in there. Now it says to put the screws in, snug them up, close the jaws, and then tighten them down so that they're all aligned. Okay, so there's number one. This is number four. So we'll look for number four. <clears throat> So just putting the screws in there, snugging them up. Move on to number three. I don't know what the differences are with the numbered jaws. I don't know if there are any. You would think that if it's symmetrical, that they wouldn't change. And then lastly, number two. Now there's a set screw that the instructions don't really tell you when to use it, but through this hole here, let me show you. So right there, there's a set screw on the left. And this goes in it. But <clears throat> I don't know if I'd really want to crank that down on the brand new chuck insert that I bought. I don't know if it's needed or not. So anyways, I'm going to close the jaws. I don't know why this makes a funky clicking noise. So, so those are all tight. So let's see how wide they go. So that's 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 as wide as it goes. So. So every time you turn this, it catches right there, and you have to kind of twist through it, and then it catches again. It doesn't seem like it should do that. So as you turn the handle, the jaws open, and then you cut this shape into the bottom of your bowl, and this is slightly tapered. So you can either stick this inside the bowl in the hole that you create, and then you twist this, the jaws open up, and they push against the inside of the bowl, or you could clamp this onto the outside. <clears throat> you can make an external way of clamping onto it. And I'm drawing a blank on what that is called here. 
I'll think of it as soon as I stop recording this video. Uh, so it's the tool. <laughs> so this is brand new, but just so you can see here, there's a piece of metal sticking out on the tool, on the gear. So every time I turn one turn, it catches. So I'm going to file that off. So it's actually helping a lot. Uh, it's not 100% yet. So it's fixed. It opens and closes like it should. So there's all the way in the open position. That should be 50 millimeters across the front. And then as you twist this, the jaws retract and uh, clamp on to the wood. So now I just need to find out what you do with that set screw. Because there's no place on here that's flat where the set screw would connect to. I don't know if it's used for a different application, but I guess you could connect it to, or tighten it down on the thread, but um, I'm not the biggest fan of that. So then you have the, uh, the coal jaws. So these jaws, <clears throat> You take these off here, and these bolt on and with the same method in mind. So there's four of these. They clamp on, and then these rubber feet screw on in these holes at different locations depending on what kind of bowl you're turning. And then what happens is you take the lip of your bowl, which I don't have a bowl handy, but if the bowl was my hand, when you put this plate up here, the bowl sits flush against this plate, and then you adjust, you know, this goes in or out towards the center of the shaft, and then these rubber feet clamp down the outside of the bowl. So you can hold the bowl from the top after you've carved it out, or before you've carved it out, if you have your outside shape carved, and then work on the bottom side or the, the back side of the bowl. So that's the concept. <clears throat> Uh, post another video when it's functioning. So, thanks for watching. More videos to come. I'm new. If you feel like subscribing, great.